The very first step in learning to sketch is to practice the way you hold your pen. The first thing to realize is that sketching is not the same as writing. When I write, I hold my pen pretty close to the tip to make very precise movements with my fingertips. These so-called fine motor skills are great for adding details at the final stages of your sketch, but are pretty useless for setting up the bigger picture. By repositioning your grip backwards and relaxing the muscles in your fingers, you will be able to draw much longer and more fluent lines. The next step is to always hold your pen perpendicular to the direction of the line you are drawing. To draw a horizontal line, this means you have to point your pen straight forward and for a vertical line, you have to rotate your pen and point sideways. The third step is to draw from the shoulder and minimize any rotation of your wrist. This is particularly difficult with shorter lines and will require lots of practice to make it second nature. Observe your own hand when you draw a line and see if you are moving your fingers or rotating your wrist. If you are, focus on the problem and make a real effort to correct it. Because your wrist operates pretty much the same as a compass, any rotation will create a curve instead of a straight line. The same goes for your elbow. If you rotate your arm around your elbow, you create a curve with a radius the size of your lower arm. So if you want to improve your basic sketching skills, practice the following three principles. One, hold your pen further from the tip and relax your muscles. Two, point your pen perpendicular to the direction of the line you want to draw. And three, Minimize any rotation of your wrist. That's it for now, but stay tuned for the next tutorial.